Are there any other questions or comments? Mr. Young? My name is Christopher Young. Um, I state that Senate Bills 708 and 38 violate Article 1, Section 3 of the Rhode Island Constitution. Uh, the bills violate my freedom of religion. I state that clearly in this hearing because this will, um, I will seek an injunction against this legislation if it passes. It violates the state's constitution. The, legisl the legislature knows that it violates Article 1, Section 3. They stated clear clearly in Senate Bill 708 that citizens uh, um, believe that same-sex marriage violates Article 1, Section 3 of the Rhode Island Constitution. So this legislature is aware that citizens believe it violates the Constitution. And um, the very purpose of the Constitution is pr to protect even the minority position, even if I am the only one that believes this violates Article 1, Section 3 of the Constitution, it is there to protect my minority position as well. Mine too. And Kara's as well. According, according to court precedent, um, states, state constitutional articles stand as statute and the highest law within the state. If you pass these bills, you will violate the state's constitution and state law. There is no federal law that supersedes the state's constitution, so you are violating the state's constitution. You are violating Article 1, Section 3. The Latino community and others have come here tonight, and they voiced their opinion in the rotunda. They're very loud, and they've supported the position that these bills violate Article 1, Section 3 of the Rhode Island Constitution. They've made, it, they've made their positions very clear by, by uh, cheering to end this legislation. Article 1, Section 3 says freedom of religion. We therefore declare that no person shall be compelled to frequent or support any religious worship. You're making me believe that marriage is the union between two men. Um, place or ministry. You're making me believe the ministry that marriage is between the union of two men. Whatever. In except in fulfillment of such person's voluntary contract. Kara and I were married under a religious contract, a covenant with God, uh, according to the Catholic faith, and under our contract with the state. You are changing the terms of our religious contract and forcing us into an involuntary religious contract by changing the meaning of our contract. You are violating Article 1, Section 3 of the Constitution. The, bill, the, the, uh, the Constitution says as well, nor enforced, restrained, molested, or burdened in body or goods, or disqualified from holding public office, nor otherwise suffer on account of such person's religious belief. You are making me suffer on the count of my religious belief to have to come before you continually and, and, and defend Article 1, Section 3 of the Constitution, which as members of the judiciary, you should know the law, you should know the Constitution, and, and you should know that the Constitution acts as a statute and it has the power to stop you from doing what you're doing, but you continue to do it. Um, you are violating the Constitution, and, and, and the Constitution further goes on to say, um, and that every person shall be free to worship God according to the dictates of such person's conscience. You are, you are making me violate my conscience by believing that marriage is a union between two men, two women, or a brother and a sister, according to uh, 708, which says two people can marry. Well, you know, Obviously, you guys are attorneys. You know that under equal protection, two brothers, two sisters will, will try and claim that they are two persons. Why aren't they allowed to marry? So I, I would like to um, obviously continue. Um, Article 1, uh, the preamble of, of Article 1 is, is, based on, uh, the, is based on Almighty God itself. If you attempt to amend the Constitution to provide for same-sex marriage, you are undermining the very premise of the Constitution of itself. itself. You are uh, undermining what the Constitution was created for. It was created for the laws of Almighty God, which are clearly written within the Bible, which says that, if, that it is against God's law. You are tricking people into a behavior where they will not have kids, they will not have kids. Two men will not have children. It's a depopulation program. Two men will get AIDS and HIV. According to the Center for Disease Control, they have an 86 times higher rate of AIDS and HIV. I did not do the study. The Center for Disease Control did the study. Depopulation collapses economies. And it is a tactic to undermine the United States government. I would suggest that the state's attorney general investigate Bill Gates and other elite people who want depopulation in this world and file a lawsuit against Mr. Gates for a billion dollars 
Jesus for attempting to push an agenda of depopulation and ethnic cleansing. Because just like abortion, in 1973, there was 10,000 abortions a year. Now there's 1.2 million abortions Mr. a year. Mr. Young, I'm going to ask you if you can start to wrap up, please. Yes. When you normalize and naturalize the behavior such as this, more people will engage in it. And, and more and more people will not have children. More and more people will, will die from AIDS and HIV. They'll commit suicide. This is what happens to people who engage in this behavior. And when, and when this happens, the economy of this country will collapse. More and more people will not have children. It's common sense. It's common sense that it violates my religious beliefs. I stated it clearly. Many members of the audience who are cheering outside will state it as well. You are violating the Constitution. Both bills violate the Constitution. You cannot proceed forward with this legislation. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Young. Are there any questions or comments for Mr. Young? Thank you.